Connie, have you heard about this new drug trend that kids are taking? They're using bath salts to get high. Wow, seriously, uh -huh, bath salts? Uh -huh. And as a matter of fact, um, someone was telling me this morning that at a gas station, they were saying that they were selling those type of bath salts there. Can you oh believe my that? goodness, to kids? Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And you know, it's kind of scary because when you think about it, uh, there are so many different drugs out there. And DrugFreeAZ.org recently came out with the results of a survey of Valley kids here, 12 to 18 years old, and they found that. 15% of them reported using herbal incense, things like spice, to get high. And even K2, which is a uh, cannabis that is synthetic, that's about one out of every seven kids in our, in our area between the ages of 12 and 18. Well, one out of three actually reported buying it for themselves, and 50% of them say they got it from friends. Well, that's right, Connie. Some kids like to push it to the limit and often experiment with things. Some teens may be trying legal substances but have the effect of illegal drugs. It was a chemistry experiment that ended badly in Indianola, Iowa for the high school band baritone player. The family and friends of David Rosga say he tried some K2 after his graduation and hours later killed himself with a rifle. David did not do this intentionally. He was like in an altered state, and you know, he would never do this to hurt us or hurt anyone else. David Rosga's death has led to proposed legislation that would ban all the chemicals used in the K2 and Spice products now so widely available, even in a small town in Iowa. The boys who bought this stuff went to a local shopping mall and purchased it. In now, a shopping mall? In a shopping mall. They don't care. Who, who they hurt or, or what they do. Retail store trade groups oppose the proposed ban and say as long as the products are legal, there is no reason not to sell them. A ban is very dangerous. Why is a ban dangerous? Because it sends it underground. And I'd like to ask the government, what is wrong with euphoria and who gave them the right to regulate it? Retailers say they have their own standards and most won't sell to anyone under 18. Not true at this store in New York City where the 14-year-old daughter of an ABC News employee wearing a hidden camera easily bought some spice. How much is the spice? Eighty-five dollars. Never once asked for an ID. And the same story across the country in Los Angeles, where despite the sign outside, 16-year-old Dakota was sold spice and never asked for an ID. He just said, like, his friends tried it, and they, like, got really messed up on it. And he sold it to you? Yeah. I'm Brian Ross from ABC News. Yeah. Question. You just sold this to a 16-year-old boy with no ID. You didn't check for the ID? You didn't ask for the ID? No, I didn't. The clerk admitted he should not have sold the spies to Dakota. What are the consequences of that kind of thing? What are you doing to those kids? Um, I mean, nothing good. Well, joining us now is Shelly Mowry, who is the Senior Director with DrugFreeAZ.org to talk about what we can do to empower our kids to stay away from drugs and find maybe hopefully productive things to do. So welcome, Shelly. Thank you for having me. Well, I have to say, you know, this is really kind of scary. You know, what's up with this? You know, using legal things that we can purchase at a store like bath salts, and these kids are using them for you know, to have effects of what illegal drugs would do. Yeah, absolutely. There's this whole new synthetic drug movement. Now, bath salts, a lot of people will be alarmed by that because yeah. they'll be like, oh my gosh. I is know, this now something bath salts to bathe. Exactly. And, you know, um, is it some, exactly. Is it just something I can pick up at, you know, the local bath and body shop? They're not those types of okay. bath salts. What these bath salts are is they're synthetic amphetamine. So it's like legal speed. And oh. what it says on the container is not for human consumption. And what you find with these items like Legal Speed or, or sort of the Spice or the K2, which is a synthetic marijuana, so that produces like marijuana type high, but what you find from these is that kids have all sorts of different reactions to them. And even adults, they can have delusions, they can have, you know, paranoia. Right. I mean, there's a lot of strange things that can happen. Well, you know what, also, you know, there was over 2,500 calls at the uh, Poison for Center Disease Control Center nationwide in 2010. I mean, based on bath salts, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, and we're seeing that trend right here in Arizona. If you can believe it, um, Banner Hospital, they're the Poison Control Center here for, for us locally. And over the past four months, they've seen like six dozen of these types of uh, 
emergency room mm -hmm. visits. And that's a lot when you think about it. Yes. You know, sometimes we think, oh, these bath salts or these synthetic drugs, we're just hearing about it. Well, by the time we hear about it, Daphne, yeah, it's already, like it's already kind of been out there and, and, and kids are hearing about it and people are hearing about it. And so curiosity sort of spikes and, oh, what's that? Oh, it's legal. Well, you know what's interesting to me is I have to say, you know, like, if I were to look at, like, you know, these bath salts that you're talking about or, you know, Spice K2, I mean, what in the world would make these kids want to, like, smoke it or snort it when it has a whole different use for it? Well, the idea here is that these are all, what they're being sold under sort of this legal high. Mm -hmm. And so that's really kind of what gets sort of, okay. I think, the kids' attention. So it's not like they're experimenting with it. No, no, no. Oh, this isn't illegal. This right. isn't an illegal drug. It's legal. And also, with some of these other synthetic drugs, they're being sold as, hey, it's a way to de-stress. Okay. It's a way to relax. You know, there are different types of things that you can smoke or bath salts that you can use to obtain different sorts of effects. And so when, once kids hear that it's legal, not illegal, they're more likely to use because, hey, it was safe. Why would they be selling it to me if it wasn't safe to right. take? Exactly. Okay. Let me ask you one more question because I'm running out of time. But what advice can you tell for us parents to do that we can be proactive to even prevent or maybe if we do find out that our child is doing these type of drugs, what other things can we do? Give us some tools. Well, one of the things that you can do that I know you, a lot about, you know a lot about is sort of computer safety. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you want to do is really watch what's going on in your computer with your teenager. Okay. Okay. You know, maybe set controls and that type or of have thing. have a monitoring but, program on. But first and foremost, as school begins and, and kids are going back to school, is to start talking with them about this. Let them know that, hey, do you, have you heard about spies? Have you heard about K2? Okay. Do you know about these bath salts? You know, they're very dangerous. And you may want so to point start the conversation. To start the conversation and have it early and often with them. Okay, like we can't just like lock them up. I wish. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wish. I wish. Well, Shelly, <laughs> Shelly, thank you so much. Always good advice, and I appreciate all the information that you've given us. So if you would like to find out more information, you can always go to our website at abc15.com and click on the Lifestyle tab. All right, thanks, Daphne. Well, let's stay on the subject for a minute and jump online to our Smart Family 15 Facebook page. We asked you a question today that probably made a lot of people go, hmm, what do you think would stop kids from wanting to do any drugs at all? It's a tough one, isn't it? Lillian says, um, some real laws. Gregory Sellers says they will always be curious. That is why communication is so important. And John LaFleur says there is none. There's nothing you can do, basically. Kids experiment. It's what they do. Keep them busy and happy with other stuff and hope they find their bliss before they find drugs. Hey, join the conversation. We're always at Facebook.com forward slash Smart Family 15. And we love to hear what you have to say. So join the conversation right now.